Boy, nobody not safe. Nobody, nobody not safe up there. Because it's man, woman, sure, and everybody that they have. The fear of violence has never been closer for Guanapo residents, as warring gangs have taken aim at each other and innocent bystanders following a series of shootings. Between July 13th and July 28th, five people were gunned down and a four-year-old boy wounded, all within walking distance of each other in the smaller Rima community. The shootings are believed to be part of an ongoing gang war between cliques of criminals which began in September last year. The gang war eventually resulted in the murders of Faith, Ariana, Shane and Tiffany Peterkin at their family's home in Larry Retreat last September. Two men, Jelani Rivers and Jodel Noel, were charged with the murders one month later, but the bloodshed is still far from over. Residents said killers have used the densely forested Guanapo Hills to stage their attacks and escape undetected. Responding to CNC3's questions via WhatsApp, head of the Northern Division Senior Superintendent Miguel Montrachard admitted that effectively policing such terrain was a challenge. I'm standing on one of the many streets in the shadow of the Guanapo landfill. This street and track just behind me takes you to Cemetery Road from which you can access any point of the heights of Guanapo. And while police exercises continue to be ramped up at the major highways, byways, intersections and townships in and around Arima, several residents are concerned that gunmen and criminals may be using trucks just like these and bushes to escape law enforcement. Deputy Arima Mayor and Tumpuna Councillor Jovan Roberts said streets like La Retreat, which branch off into a winding network of dirt roads in the Guanapo Hills, were used by criminals. They can make their own um, retreat routes and it will be difficult for them to be detected. But Guanapo isn't the only Arima community under siege, as a recent double murder in Samru village has shaken the neighborhood. Friends Emerson Boucher and Michael de Garzon were gunned down as they limed outside Boucher's Edma Street home on Monday night. And while both men were not known to the police as criminals, residents believe their killers targeted them to simply send a message. So they come back, and whosoever they catch on the corner, they just lick up. According to data from the TTPS, there has been a drop in murders in the Northern Division from 53 last year to 37 this year. But with fears of reprisal killings looming over Guanapo and Samaru Village, the data does little to assure residents. Shane Superville, CNC3 News.